And the cloud cover has been a little bit tough to shake this afternoon out at that Inganwoods Tower Cam here on top of the studio. We're hanging out in the low 50s here as we roll into lunchtime across mid-Missouri. Going to warm up a few degrees more, not a whole lot. It kind of depends on how much more sunshine we might be able to squeeze in this afternoon between all those clouds. But again, not expecting a whole lot more. We're going to be locked in the 50s. We head into the next couple of hours tonight, though, still going to be hanging on to a lot of the cloud cover, or at least enough of it by the time sunrise rolls around. We'll only cool off to about 40 degrees, the low 40s for most of us. Might see a few upper 30s by tomorrow morning, but still looking like we're staying away from the frosty problems for our Friday morning. And then we make up for a bit of a gloomy day today as we get into tomorrow afternoon back into the mid 60s with some more sunshine. That's about where we're going to see things get on Saturday, but things getting a little more active this weekend. Going to be tracking a pair of rounds of showers and storms, both of which look like they're more so around Saturday evening and then again Sunday afternoon or evening later in the day with both of these. Here's the latest look at future tracking, starting to kind of hone in on some of these details as we get into this weekend. Again, this first round of showers and storms Going to move into some of our southern counties first. So if you've got any of those outdoor plans around Lake of the Ozarks, you got to watch this thing anywhere along and south of Highway 50. Those will eventually just kind of lift off toward the north as we get into the overnight hours, Saturday night into Sunday. Still thinking they're going to lift far enough north to give us at least a little bit of dry time early in the day on Sunday. That's not necessarily the best case for us because that gives us a chance to kind of recharge that atmosphere getting into the afternoon. And when that cold front you see swing on through, could tap into some of that energy. So that's what we don't want to see happen. Unfortunately, kind of looks like it's trending that direction enough so that the Storm Prediction Center is at least going to be monitoring this area that they've shaded here, really west of Highway 63, places like Kansas City, Sedalia, even Lake of the Ozarks again on Sunday. That's that second round that we could be tracking for some stronger storms in the afternoon. Rain tracker again, this is another problem where we're going to be seeing a lot of rain. It looks like the bullseye is a little further to our north and east. That's the good news. The bad news is, though, again, that means that warm front could be lifting far enough north to give us at least an opportunity to pick up some strong storms. We're going to be monitoring this closely over the next couple of days. Sunday again, if you've got any of those outdoor plans, just keep an eye on this. We'll be tracking some of those details over the days to come. Monday into Tuesday, though, into the next work week. Looking a lot more tame here. Temperatures back into the mid to upper 60s to near 70 degrees by Tuesday.